Hi, this is Chris from Mobile Tech Addicts. But I'll have a look today at the BBC iPlayer running within the Safari browser. Obviously, there's no iPlayer application at the moment, so we'll take a look at it. All that it says is a shortcut to the Safari page for bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer. What's clever about this bit of software though is it integrates with the QuickTime player within the iPhone, so it actually plays videos uh, streamed from the iPlayer site. So here we go on the home page of BBC iPlayer, and we'll have a look at some TV highlights. Very impressed with this application, and unfortunately, it only works if you're actually in the UK because of licensing issues. So there's your BBC channels. We'll click on uh, BBC One. Here we go. What happens is um, when you first load up a bit of a program, you think it's not going to work, but actually it appears on the screen. And if we click this one here, I'll show you what I mean. Picture comes up, it's totally blank, and there's nothing you can do. You've got to wait a couple of seconds till a, a player sign appears on the video. On the picture, there you go. There's the play sign. There, as you can see, you now touch that, select it. You'll see the video. It'll change to QuickTime, and uh, it'll load the video up. This is the only complaint of the software. It does take quite a while to load up each video, but once it plays, you don't get any stuttering. So it must be buffering quite well ahead to make sure the stream plays constantly. Obviously, you can look at it in landscape mode as well. So, well, look at that while we're waiting for it to load up. This is just a hospital drama from BBC. Uh, no particular reason why I chose it, just because it was the first one on the list. As you can see, it's this normal Apple video player that's loading up. This is on a Wi-Fi connection, I've got to say. So there you go. Quality of the video is really, really good. And uh, it looks fantastic on the iPhone screen. I haven't got any sound on this at the moment, so... Obviously, you can switch it back to portrait mode as well, and the screen scripts around. When you're done, just press done. You can go back to uh, the main screen where you can select which, what you want to watch. Let's have a look, see if I can find some EastEnders. Bit of a fan of EastEnders. <laughs> for my sins. It's one of those programs you can watch when you're feeling down. You watch EastEnders, it always cheers you up because you realise life's not so bad after all. It's such a depressing program. There's EastEnders there. Let's have a look at that one. So again, wait till the arrow appears before you can select it. A couple of seconds it should appear. There we go. And I'll press play. I have to say, I used the iPlayer on uh, with Windows Mobile device last week using Skyfire. And it was very clumsy. It, you zoomed more times than you actually tried to play videos. And you clicked on them and zoomed in rather than actually select the video. It did work eventually, but it was very, very clunky. This is a much better uh, implementation of watching BBC iPlayer with the iPhone, I have to say. It's only got to be just these load times down, because it is a bit painful at times. But here we go. EastEnders screens load up. We'll press play. And here we go. EastEnders starting to play. There we go. Yeah, we'll swap it over to portrait mode. Quality is absolutely brilliant, I have to say. This is over um, a half a meg Wi-Fi uh, wi connection. It's not the fastest connection in the world, so I think load times would probably be a lot less if you had a better connection. EastEnders. There we go. Bit of a dark scene, this one, anyway, so... It does look really vibrant on the iPhone screen. That's it, done. Back to the main screen again. You can also look at uh, radio stations. You can do searches. You can stream all the BBC radio stations, all the different ones. Very, very nice implementation of uh, iPlayer through a web browser. all the different channels, different days of the week. And uh, very, very impressive bit of software. Thank you very much for watching. And visit mobiletechaddicts.com. Thank you.